Hello friends. Today I've just been clearing out this space a little bit more where all these vines are growing and just keep on growing and taking over everything. The tree, the fence and even this spot here which when I did start to clear it um, earlier last year became the home to a whole colony of mushrooms and I've made a couple of previous videos about that you might want to have a look at uh, but just here you can see what's left of a fungus or mushroom of some kind that was growing out of this old tree stump here and uh, several times in the autumn got a huge colony of uh, glistening ink cap mushrooms all over this spot here so I'm trying not to disturb that any more than I have to as I clear this out. I'm going to leave this space as kind of the mushroom <laughs> mushroom area. But this corner here, if you can see, it's probably something I can do something with, grow something edible or attractive. It's quite shady, as you can see. Um, and just as a little experiment in the autumn, I left this succulent plant under the tree here just to see if it would survive in the cold conditions. <laughs> and it did. So I'm wondering if I can even grow some, you know, more tropical or um, succulent plants in this spot from spring into the summer. You never know. It's worth thinking about. But in the meantime, there's my hat. <laughs> I'm just going to keep chopping away at these vines and uh, blackberries, brambles, so I can clear some space for the spring and grow who knows what. <laughs> Let's take a look at my uh, bottle beds. I've shown you these before, but I've added a few more bottles and I thought it would be nice if I can make a border out of glass bottles. All the way around the black currant bush there, back to the shed. And then this area here, which I did have some uh, wooden planks laid out to uh, start using as beds, but I may make a big square area there out of bottles instead. And that's where I'm going to go grow my sweet corn. So that's just the thought. <laughs> I'm um, going to have to drink a lot of beer in order to do that, but I don't really have a problem with that. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Bye. Hello again. Good afternoon. I've done a little bit more clearing. And this is the space here where I've just been chopping back some of these vines and still a lot of blackberries so I've just been cutting those back as well. I'm going to start clearing this space away and that piece of wood there is just where I've marked the boundary between the uh, the mushroom kingdom if you like and the space where I can grow some other things uh, possibly some more strawberries or raspberries. I do have some strawberries here that are doing okay, that I planted out at the end of the year, towards the end of last year. Uh, some cardboard and some mulch that I've put over there to stop any of these uh, other things spreading too much, but got a fair bit of weeding to do, obviously. And then we'll have a fair bit of space here. And that'll be nice. I have now added some more bottles to the wall. I said I had this morning when I hadn't. I have now, and that's what it looks like now. 